got some control of this, so... Control RC one two seven. Soul control, right there. Who that RC? Soul control radio. Soul control radio. Soul control radio. Back I'm the king. Trigger name that trigger all the stupidity, rich eye. Body, mind, 
that common sense doesn't entitle them to understand that when he come off that key and y'all jump, cry, bitch, and moan three different transmissions and he ain't coming back or you ain't hearing him, how long is it going to take you to figure out he turned you on like a light switch? Exactly my point, and that's how you work these dudes. That's how you work these dudes, man. You work them just that way. You talk about them, you quick key, you don't let them get in between. You just talk about them, man. They're sitting there battling for themselves, and they realize that this dude's really ain't responding to me. And they realize that you're going back and forth with the, cl the uh, conversation because, you know, ain't nothing stopping. I'm talking to you. Uh, so that's how you deal with them, man. You know, it takes a special kind of person. Like earlier today, the guy puts on a kid. He couldn't be no more than 12 years old, quit cursing and... This kid's mouth, man. You know, that's that's the like I said, that's the type of people that you're dealing with. That's the type of trash, trash that you're dealing with. That you're both. You're kidding me. You you mean I missed this? Yeah, you were there when, when you were saying that um dude was changing his voice. No, he put a little kid on the on the radio, cursing at you and all that stuff. That's what he did. He put a little kid on the radio, cursing at you. You know what I mean? That just shows you the level of class that these people have, man. Oh, no, no, listen, that wasn't a little kid. That was really Cupcake with his voice changer shit. Oh, you got a voice changer. And then, oh, uh, wow, and then he goes around and tells everyone that there's a cat near coward. They're hiding behind a CD, he hides behind a voice changer. <laughs> he hides, so he gets a voice changer so he can rag on Nah, that's not how all his voice changer came about. His voice changer really came about because I kept busting him on heroin. And, uh, well, his voice changer, he figures I was always busting him by pointing out the, the sound of his voice or the slur of his words or his speech pattern, his speech pattern speed. So what he did was to mash the, uh, the horse head in him, he started him with all his voice changer shit. Hoping to mash the dope, man. The kids are really, yo, yo, he's total fly horse, I do. Hold up, you sure it's dope and not the lead paint? I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, the lack of intelligence is due to something, man. I don't think it's dope. Because there's a lot of people that wrote very good music and wrote a lot of books. Donald Goins being one of them that, you know, they were on heroin. Um, so it must be a combination of the two, um, heroin and, and, and lead paint that uh, makes them so stupid. Well, to be honest with you, man, over the last three quarter of the year, I really smartened them up, taught them all how to speak, talk, and get bold and get right. But, you know, if you go back to my first, and I'm not lying, if you check out some of, like, my first four months video gates, and you hear the first interlockings or the first arguments with CK, you know, if you could call it other, anything other than heroin at work, then I guess maybe you got some knowledge I don't have, but that's the way I would call it, man. And that's how all this voice changes shit with him came into play. Yeah, it was funny. I'm like, you don't even have a job yesterday. He's like, I have a job. I'm a hustler. I'm a hustler. I wonder if he ever did a tax return. <laughs> ah, no, nah, he a big hustler, dude. He juggle credit cards. He sell mega crack for all quarter of him. He make mega loot. Uh, he can make reservations right now. He wants to be the man to take over the airwave, but his plea cop and uh, excuses also run by money everywhere but on his radio shit. He's trying to do testicles with his testicles, wondering why he can't take out a ride Dr. Love no more. And uh, he had somebody he thought was his good buddy tell him last night, yeah, you used to be about an 8'9", you're like a 5 now. So, you know, I, I guess, you know, you got to be hilarity of the facts of it of what I got them doing. I got them going through hoops. I don't think they understand how bad or how pussy it makes them sound when for two years they're repeating the same shit. I'm coming to beat you up. I got something special for you. Don't worry. It's a surprise. You never go out all of a sudden. I, you know, I, I mean, I understand they want to try and save face and look bold, man. But, you know, and, then, you know, one of them I totally pay no mind to because he's like, he's like, you know, he's like the worst freaking uh, gasoline throwing junkie out here. But, you know, I feel the way you do, man. But 
I'm here. I live here. You know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm up in the hood. You know, you, you live elsewhere. You come and go. You got some clouds in here. I feel the same way you do. But us voicing our opinion like this is gonna make us bad in the junkie community.
tweeters I can say it. It's working. Yeah,